Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very long table to be fit in just one page in Google Docs. So I have this long table in my document and it consumes three pages, which is quite unnecessary given that there are many plenty empty area that could be used more efficiently. So I'm going to show you a few steps that you could try to make any table smaller and thus makes the whole document a lot more efficient, especially if you want to print the document. So the first thing you need to do is to select the entire cells of the table. Just use the cursor and drag it from the very top to the very bottom like this. And when you're done, a new sub menu will appear uh, in this location. You can click table properties, sorry, table options, and then go to the row menu here. And in the minimum row height, we want to make it smaller. So I think this row or basically all rows in this table are a little too big. So we want to make it a little smaller. Maybe I'm going to enter the number to be 1.5 centimeter. But by the way, if you are using the Imperial system, then this is going to be inches. So I think you need to adjust the number accordingly. Anyway. Now we have this table shrink to just two pages. It used to be three pages, but now just two pages, which is a nice improvement, but we can get even further. So the next thing you need to do is to reduce the padding of the cell on the table. So padding is basically just the distance between text and the border. We want to make it smaller. So basically the usual area of the cell will be bigger. So let's open this menu that says cell. And under cell padding, I want to change the number from 0.17 centimeter to maybe just 0.1 centimeter. Okay, now you can see that it is a lot smaller. You can actually reduce it even further, but just be careful because you don't want to make the border and the text to be closely together. And you know, this is going to be quite a problem when you print so tightly content uh, on your document. So anyway, now we are able to make the document smaller, but we want to make this table even smaller. We want to just use one page. So the next logical thing to do is reduce the size of the font. Fortunately, reducing the size of the font is quite easy. Just select all the text from the table, from the cells, and then you can change the font from, let's say 20, sorry, from 12 to 10 points. Now we are almost there, but do keep in mind that sometimes when you're dealing with the font size, you might also want to uh, change the minimum row height for the table because the minimum rate really depends on the content that it contains. So if the content is smaller, then you might want to make this number even smaller. So it used to be 1.4, but let's see if we can get away with just 1.4. And I think we are almost there. Can we get away with 1.3? Yep. Well, I think that is a nice improvement. So yeah, I think now this is a really good table. This is the same table that used to be very long, but now fit in just one page. But if you don't want to make the row too small or, or you don't want to make the text too small, then there is another solution, which is by increasing the usable area of the paper. By that, uh, I mean, we are going to reduce the footer and the header part of the paper. Let's say I'm going to incre sorry, increase the size to 12 points again. So now we have this area. Now I'm going to go to the file menu, page setup, and on the margins, I'm going to change the number from 2.54 centimeter, which equals to one inches. I'm going to enter the number to be 1.5 centimeter and also 1.5 and click OK. Okay, that is certainly an improvement, but it's still not enough. So let's go to the page setup again and let's reduce the number even further. Okay, still not enough. So maybe there is a limit to it and we don't want to make it too close to the edge because uh, it's going to be quite problematic when you are printing the document. So I think 0.7 centimeter is the lowest I can go. Well, it doesn't do much, so I guess it is right that we have to reduce the font size to 11. Okay, so I think this is probably the maximum setup that I can go with. I think uh, I pretty much have done the goal, which is to reduce the table length from three pages to just one page. So I hope you learned something from this video.